Hello, thank you all for watching. This is Many Sunny Sun for a weekly horoscope video. Um, we begin on March 2nd, starting on Monday. We have the moon entering the sign of Leo. Leo represents the, the sun, represents creativity, represents self-confidence, represents the formation of, all, of our will and our ego. It's, it's, it's the great life giver. Um, it represents core strength and the values we put on so it also represents the performer the it likes to be on the spotlight it likes to be the central um the central um uh, force of light it, it has to do with creativity and being outward it's it's the male it's very patriarchal kind of thing so we represent it with life giving self-expressing of giving force of emotions and of strength. So when the lunar precision is in Leo, we it sort of uplifts the the natives in this chart from from the monotony in life, and it, it uplifts it reinvigorates the soul with flair and enthusiasm and and even pride in ourselves. So. At this time, it represents go giving the person authority and and giving the person the the in favor of 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 directing it, his life towards a better goal, towards a better life. Um, so at this time, when the moon is in Leo, um, we don't hesitate to come out in public, to be in the spotlight, to be the central of our of our own galaxy, the central force of our identity. So that kind of represents the moon and Leo, and then we have uh, it's it you know represents being courageous, having that sort of identity that represents joy and and you know just familiarity. It's being warm and kind-hearted. Um, so it it exercises more into the playfulness of the soul. Then we have moon trying Saturn. Moon trying Saturn represents the energies of the Saturnian. Um, the constructs, the, the, the security, where people are grounded, very disciplinarian. So it, at this time, we can be motivated to really uh, put ourselves in and uh, put ourselves into the responsibility to have control and have the steady approach towards life and towards others. And this gives um, the aspect towards towards um, that kind of thing. Don't forget moon represents the the unconscious side of our nature. It represents the 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 instincts. Um, so when we're performing some type of duty, some type of uh, what 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 Saturn represents, difficulties, obstacles, we will confront these in a very perfect way uh, with the moon trying Saturn. Moon and trying Saturn uh, it represents the where we can channel these uh, energies effectively in in the most natural way. So we so if there's a person that we can count on, uh, also we will reflect that, and people will sense our responsibility and our duties. And it's and it's and it's fairly supportive in in this whole run. Thank you for watching. Hello, and thank you all for watching. This is Manny Sunny Sun with the weekly astrological report we begin on tuesday on march the third we have jupiter trying uranus uh jupiter is the planet of luck growth and expansion jupiter represents faith through our ability to experience luck and what the mind is aware of of life's opportunities um faith and humor are what represents uh jupiter uranus makes a supportive try uh, trying represents harmony and it represents these established connections that we can make um, So in this aspect it shows the success and the way towards sex towards success Will bring unusual opportunities from new ways of expanding uh, Into new territory these will show up quite a present uh, unprecedented and and you have quite lofty goals um, and objectives. Your ideas are quite novelty, independent and original. You may delve into the secret uh, sciences, like, of course, for example, Uranus 
rules astrology, secret fraternities, um, the occult arts and sciences, uh, secret orders, and gives a positive outlook into life. Uh, such persons will become happy, fortunate, and enjoy honesty. It makes very positive time to uh, enjoy time around family, friends, social kind of groups, that kind of thing. And makes a person very hospitable and will likely put a great effort in making his home a very comfortable place to live in. This is a time where we may present a close affiliation with universities because Jupiter, of course, is the planet which represents lawyers, doctors, scholars, cardinals, that sort of thing. So this position of the planet gives great executive abilities and success connected with higher institutions of learning. Uranus likes to try something new and original. And Jupiter shows us where um, how we may go on the deep end and on the road that leads to success. So there's so much success that you'll probably move from one direction to one that is with success and dedicated and demands more of your, your own creativity, your own insights. A job that is boring, slow and deprives you to work on, on, repeat, on repeat may not come to serve you at this time. This is an opportunistic time to invest and make certain uh, success in terms of financial matters. This aspect gives great prosperity and blessings. Hello and thank you all for joining me for Wednesday, March 4th, 2015. We have Venus conjunction Uranus. Venus, planet of love, romance, and affection, makes a conjunction to planet Uranus, planet of originality, independence, and social groups and gatherings. This is a positive time to meet up and find romance and feelings of love. Make a list of the people you like to enjoy over to a party where there's music, people dancing, there are some very strong energies and can be regarded as an intense merging of the intervening of these two planets. Uh, Venus, planet of feeling, and Uranus is a planet of shock and a planet that makes geniuses, original and inventive thinkers during this remarkable conjunction. Others may find you exciting and very alluring. This is a time where we may be feeling a sudden urge or change in our emotions and wanting to break through a sudden termination. Under any attachments made at this time, it will occur to the native that any movement towards independence will highlight the other. Uh, people will notice about you something different and unusual from you, others whose magnetic attraction will be felt quite strongly in your own personal expression. Emotions of sexuality will be aroused strongly. You tend to experience the highest of the Uranian energies of this aspect. Quote unquote, the unexpected will always happen. Experience always shows us feelings of erratic behavior. Emotions uh, stimulate strong but very quick emotions. The, na the native seems to fall in and out of love. It has quite the mind that once thought there would be a sudden urge to act on these feelings, to influence others, usually is acting as independent and with originality. You will find to only want to have a good time, where as long as you don't find yourself doing chores, certain little obligations that permit you to not enjoy uh, parties. If other supporting relationships should hold up, should hold you up, uh, because of a little chore, you will find it hard to understand what we defined ourselves to hold up the party. Why not keep it simple and easy? Why, when it is a weekend, you decide to not go out and play, party, eat out, plan a romantic evening, work on a vacation? It, it looks like the sexual nature and romantic feelings are certainly in the relationship. If work to the highest in the native's chart, you will be uh, filled in such a way that it gives you higher ideals and arouses your curiosity. You become interested, Venus, the richness and finer qualities like music, poetry, and you should express such energies that are met into the outer world and internal psychological dimensions.